Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel where today we study what? We study the schematic arrangement or the general outline of a hydroelectric power plant. So I will give the heading of a schematic arrangement of what? Of hydroelectric power station, hydroelectric power plant. So excuse the writing, okay? And I believe this is clear enough, but still. So basically the thing is the hydraulic energy of the water, the energy present in the water is being converted into electrical energy. Yes, yes. Anyways, so uh, the dam is constructed across a river or a lake where from the quarter from the catchment area collects at the back of the dam and forms a reservoir so this is what this is for instance the area where the the water is being stored so so the water where is being stored that is the catchment area that is the catchment area right yes so here the water is being stored now the dam is basically the obstruction to it the dam is basically the obstruction to it so let's say this one is the dam let's say this one is the the dam this one is the dam so the dam and the catchment area so you have what you have built your reservoir you have built your reservoir, you have stored your water and this is present at a certain height. Yes, yes. A pressure tunnel is taken off of the reservoir and water is brought to the valve house at the start of the pin stock. So this one is the pressure tunnel. This one I would name as PT over here. And this is what this is your valve house I will tell you what this means so pressure tunnel does what pressure tunnel well the spelling uh, now it's fine so the pressure tunnel connects the reservoir to what this is the reservoir right this is the dam this this connects the reservoir to the valve house and from the valve house basically the pen stock this originates so pen stock is what pen stock is the the conduit or the pipe actually through which this is passing the valve house contains main sluice valves and automatic isolating valves so this contains main sluice valves and automatic isolating valves what does this do so I'm going to tell you the former controls the water flow to the powerhouse this controls water flow to the powerhouse whereas this one the automatic isolating valves, this cut off the supply when the penstock bursts cut off supply when pen stock bursts so how will it burst so i will tell you in a moment so from the valve house basically the pen stock has originated so this is the pen stock that has originated i would write it as a ps and this is present at uh, and, and 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 the this is to the powerhouse pa so this is basically the ground level so have a look we've got the water stored at quite a certain height and then you could have a discharge river over here as well. I will talk about that also. Fine. So for now, this much is enough. We're going stepwise. From the valve house, water is taken to the turbine through a huge steel pipe known as a penstock. So they have written over here is a steel pipe, although it could also be made of concrete and it also could be an open channel. It can be an open conduit as well right yes sir 
this is the the water turbine converts the hydraulic energy into mechanical energy and the turbine drives the alternator which converts this mechanical into electrical energy fine yes a surge tank is is connected over here so the water is being connected over here this is your surge tank which is have a look open from the top this is open from the top is a surge tank is an open from the top conduit is built just before the valve house and protects the uh, bursting of the turbine gates when electrical load is thrown off so basically you have a governor over here you have a governor which uh, depend uh, which operates with the changes of the load so if the load is for instance decreasing so the the water supply to the powerhouse should be reduced and this is sensed by the governor so the governor will do what it will send a signal to the turbine gates to shut down the water supply to cut down the water supply so for instance you have what you have uh, the, the the load is thrown off uh, directly you have a, a zero load so what happens is that the turbine would uh, be signaled to turn off the turbine gates so the water supply would be closed to the powerhouse over here the turbine gates are over here they would be closed so which means the water is coming at a high velocity from a higher head from the dam is all present in the penstock and it does not have over here it is not allowed to go any further so the pressure has immensely increased in the penstock and it could burst so in that case what happens is that the surge tank uh, uh, the surge tank absorbs the abnormal pressure and the, the 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 extra water is taken by the surge tank and the pressure is normalized the opposite happens when the load increases when the load increases the water level needed uh, sh uh, should be increased what more water is required so the governor sent signal to open up the gates Till that time, you know, this, there is a delay, you could say. So for that, the you have the a higher amount of water in the surge tank. So for till the turbine gates are getting open and the water is being released, you can take water. The, the water from the surge tank is taken. Right? Yes, sir. So the constituents of hydroelectric power plant. So we have basically have number one are hydraulic structures, the next are water turbines, and the third is electrical equipment. So number first is let's say hydraulic structures. Number first are hydraulic structures. So in this number one that we have is the dam. So the dam is what? It is a barrier which stores the water head. Dams are built of concrete or stone machinery or earth and you, you can just read it out. So the dam is basically what? The dam is the barrier to, to, the, to the catchment area. So the reservoir is being built. You are having a storage of water. The next is the spillways. So spillways are what? When the water flow exceeds the storage capacity. So over here when you have a storage capacity has exceeded the normal. So you discharge it. You discharge it through what? Through the spillways. Exceeded water discharge I would write. I would read from the book. When the river flow exceeds the storage capacity, such situation heavy rainfall during heavy rainfall in the catchment area. So, in order to discharge the surplus water, spillways are used. They are connect uh, of. They are constructed of concrete piles on the top of the dam. Gates are provided between these piles and surplus water is discharged by these gates. So that river I mentioned over here. So the water is dis uh, discharged over here. The next, the third one is the headworks. The third one is the head work. So these are some net like structures you could say for use for the protection you could say. So that the, that no any other extra thing enters the, the, the system. For instance, this is water, a natural reservoir is present, a huge, it is a huge storage of water. So, uh, for instance, you would have stones, stones, you have uh, uh, leaves, for example, you have what, frogs, etc. Uh, dead bodies, even dead bodies, human dead bodies. So, to make sure that no extra entity enters the system, you could say this is a net-like framework, net-like framework. 
and this is used to do what to, to, to make sure that no extra thing enters into the system you can read it out from your book booms and racks for diverting floating debris and this and that whatever it is number four is the surge tank number four is the surge tank so I told you that this is an open conduit okay this is an open conduit and this will absorb what this will absorb the abnormal pressure Close conduits are always provided with a surge tank. Now the pen stock can also be an open conduit, but normally they are these closed conduits. And with the closed conduits, there is always a danger of bursting of the conduit. So you need to have a surge tank with it. Is a small reservoir or tank open at the top, water level rises or falls according to the pressure swings right when the turbine is running at a steady load there is no surge in the flow of water through a conduit the quantity of water flowing in the conduit is just sufficient to meet the turbine requirements however when the load decreases the governor that closes the gates of turbine reducing the water flow to the turbine the excess water at the lower end of the conduit rushes back to the surge tank and increases water level thus the conduit is prevented from bursting on the other hand when the load turbine increases additional water is required and this is drawn from the surge tank to meet the increased requirement and the surge tank becomes abnormal pressure in this and that okay yes so i've already told you this the next is the pen stock so pen stocks are these pipes basically these conduits are open or closed conduits which carry water to the turbine water carried to the turbine they are generally made of reinforced concrete or steel so concrete are available for low heads okay they are either made of concrete or steel so so concrete is basically for low heads and this low by low i mean less than 30 meter and the steel uh, this could be made for any height fine yes sir the steel pen stocks are done by any the thickness of the pen stock increases with the head or the working pressure so the thickness of the pen stock thickness i would say this is directly proportional to the head and the working pressure fine yes sir various devices are automatic butterfly valve air valve and surge tank are provided with the protection of pen stocks automatic butterfly valve shuts off the water flow through the pen stock promptly if it ruptures automatic butterfly valve so write it down for yourself if the pen stock ruptures so this will stop the water supply right similarly the air valve maintains the air pressure inside the air valve does what the inside maintains the inside pressure equal to outside air pressure so this is what the air valve does when water runs out of the pen stock faster than it enters so a vacuum is created which may cause the pen stock to collapse under such condition the air valve opens and the air, the air in the pen stock uh, uh, where is it air wall open and admits air in the pen stock to maintain inside and outside pressure as equal right yes so this is the first the hydraulic structure the second is what the second is water turbines the second would be water turbines let me read it out water turbines convert the energy falling into mechanical energy uh, the principle of water turbines are impulse turbines or uh, uh, reaction turbines so they do what they basically convert the falling energy to mechanical energy you have number one is impulse turbine and the second one is the reaction turbine so basically you've got two types of heads the one is the velocity head and other is the pressure head so head would either be a velocity head or a pressure head so have a look the impulse turbine basically does what the uh, the, the the impulse turbine converts velocity head impulse turbine converts velocity head 
and this converts pressure head. So I would just explain what this I am talking about. Impulse turbine. Such turbines are used for high heads. Reaction turbines are for low to medium heads. Fine. Yes. The entire pressure of the water is converted into kinetic energy in a nozzle and the velocity of the jet of the wheel. The entire kinetic energy, okay. So the whole water is coming. So the whole, it has a velocity, a certain velocity and you are converting this. You are utilizing this and this is done through a nozzle basically. So you've got a nozzle, right? Yes. So you can read it out for yourself, you know. It consists of a wheel pitted to electrical fittings and this and that you have a nozzle or spare. So you, at the end of the nozzle you have got a nozzle or spare you could say, a needle or spare. So this would do what this would uh, uh, control the water flow. More water is required, so the nozzle is removed. When uh, less water is required, so the nozzle is inserted back, and you have governors for this. Pelton wheel is an impulse turbine. Pelton wheel is an impulse turbine. Fine. Yes. Similarly, the reaction turbine water enters the runner partly with pressure energy and partly with the velocity energy. So over here, what are you coming? Pressure plus a velocity, right? Yes. So this is reaction. So you have Francis turbine and you have a Kaplan turbine. In the reaction, you have Francis, you have Kaplan turbine. So basically, I do not want to go into the detail. You have studied your hydraulics and you know this from hydraulics, right? Yes. Yes, you know this from your hydraulics. Uh, okay, converts pressure head. We talk of inlet and outlet pressure, converts velocity head. So basically, reaction turbine is used. Okay, reaction turbines are mostly used. And out of that, the Francis turbine. So, uh, uh, do I have any other thing or should I just finish this video over here? Uh, I don't have anything else. I don't have anything else. So the reaction turbines are basically radially running downward and inward. Radially running downward and inward. Going downward and thinning, right? So which means that if you are uh, reducing the the area, so the velocity would be increasing, right? Yes, it is, isn't it like this? It is. So the water velocity at the intake, this is a general rule, that the water velocity at the intake is about 1.5 meter per second. Isn't it like this? It is. Water velocity at the intake. At the intake is 1.5 meter per second, right? So basically in the reaction turbine, you need a valve. You need a pressure valve to control the pressure. Need valve to control pressure, right? Yes. And these things you have, again, I mentioned you studied in your this. So normally, normally the intake velocity is, is 1.5 meter per second. Normally. Intake velocity is what? 1.5 meter per second. So have a look. Now what you do is, you have, you, you, you do it through a nozzle. So what do you have? Let's say for instance, the normal, the normal uh, diameter is 5 meters. The normal diameter of the penstock is 5 meters. So over here at the jet, you reduce it to let's say 0.5 meter. Not a 0.5, let's say 0.25 meter. So have a look, I have reduced it to a 0.25 meter, which means how much will my velocity increase? So now my velocity will increase by this much amount, 5 divided by 0 0.25 multiply 1.5, you get something what would be the kinetic energy have a look this would be an immense value I have increased my kinetic energy by a very large amount by constructing a nozzle have a look right yes so this is the way that you can do similarly you can also have uh, number one this was the number one method that is by implementing a jet and number two is by changing the angle jet angle by changing the jet angle 
So you do study it out for yourself. You have in that, uh, you know, uh, this sort of a structure, you have uh, buckets, I would say, these are the buckets that are present and the, uh, when the water is being fed over here at a zero degrees so you can ch by changing this angle you can also have this and that and just study it out by yourself turbulent flow and laminar flow do you know it yes you know it you know it right yes so i believe that should be it about it that should be the the thing that that is important over here for us is that the impulse turbine is a high head turbine pelton wheel is a high head turbine it converts velocity head the reaction turbine converts the pressure head this is for low and medium heads and francis and the coupling turbines are reaction turbine these are important mcq questions so this was the second constituent of this similarly the third constituent is the electrical equipment the third constituent is the electrical equipment and which includes what? This includes the alternators, alternators, transformers, circuit breakers and other switching and protective devices. So basically this is not the part of this course for me. We will study it one day inshallah in the electrical machine course. Hopefully you have studied it. If not, I will teach you one day in the electrical machines course. I finished this video over here. I made it very boring, very, very boring. The schematic diagram, you have a reservoir, you have an obstruction is the dam at a height. This is what, this is the pressure tunnel. Pressure tunnel uh, connects these two. You have a wall valve, these are basically consist of the walls or the, the gates you could say, the control basically. Then you have a penstock powerhouse river over there is the surge tank. Turbines etc etc, this is your hydraulics things, not for me over here. See you in the next video very soon, till then take care, goodbye.